hello guys welcome back this is your boy Gadam Slink welcome back to another crazy video please try as much as possible as usual to like this video comment share it to post on the platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook Adam Slink media make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and meanwhile please join me to thank god for my life because yesterday i almost got into an accident well i'm okay my car is okay everybody around me is okay so help me to thank the lord and as started this video someone said whiskey that sold his soul to the devil we already know there have been a couple of times people have released some articles bloggers have released some videos saying the artists in nigeria who are part of illuminati something like that you have have you come across some some headlines like that in nigeria well i have i've read some couple of few and meanwhile uh now this guy his name is juicy he said whiskey that sold his soul to the devil my pastor told us in church on sunday that he had a vision that he saw that whiskey is one of the top dev demon in hell whiskey is one of the top demon in hell and i asked one man if whiskey has really sold his soul to the devil the man said yes he said his fan base name Whiskey FC. That FC is like an abbreviation of two ancient Latin words, which means Fazia Chien. If I pronounce it well, guys, it means devil followers. His nickname, Machala, is a Greek word which means dev demon. His, nick his whiskey nickname, Machala, is a Greek word which means demon. If you have been listening to Whiskey's song, the devil is currently in control of your life. <laughs> Do you believe that Whiskey has sold his soul to the devil? Whiskey's nickname, Machala, means demon. And that Whiskey FC, that FC, he said FC is like an abbreviation of two ancient Latin words, which means Fazia Chahin. It means devil followers crazy meanwhile daddy freezy immediately responded to this guy he said your pastor not whiskey is the real blessed symbol i don't understand what that means well guys uh kindly leave your comment below we know we have read so many couple of news saying that oh some artists have sold their soul to the devil david Doe is part of illuminati bono boy is part of illuminati the uh, Tiwasa is part of Illuminati. Whiskey is part of Illuminati. But but news just going out around, just going around. So now I want you to just leave your comment and tell me, do you actually believe that Whiskey, those people, David, do all of them are part of Illuminati? And do you even believe in this that name, Illuminati? Devil worshippers. Do you believe they exist? can leave your comment below as well and meanwhile Buari our president said he is currently taking a short break he said I am taking a short rest in London President Buari say he is currently taking a short rest in London United Kingdom the president disclosed this in the letter he wrote to the king king of the Hahimete kingdom of Jordan sorry if I'm not pronouncing that well well, uh, our president, we already know he has went for medical checkup. And of course, we, see all, we saw a lot of Nigeria protesting, protesting and protesting that he should go back. Why some others came there to support Buhari, you know? All and all, but the fact is that the president said he's taking a short rest. And there's also another rumor going around that the president should have, should have handed power to vice president knowing fully where that is going for weeks or months for medical checkup then why didn't he transfer power to vice president but uh no i'm gonna talk about that tomorrow so i don't want to dwell on that yet and uh meanwhile check out this moment when uh, a guy snatched someone's answers from the boss in lagos i think this is a lesson if you can't close Try as much as possible to close this the the shade if you can't close it please if you are holding a phone hold it with your two hands and 
bend into your close to your lap or if you you hold it like this i've seen this is no longer news i've seen severally i've seen up to three times abuja here snatchers just come just pick your phone and just run away so please i think this is like a lesson to those of you who this thing has not happened to so no now there are pickpockets everywhere there are also people who just there are people who even rob on lagos traffic they carry gun they rob your life they are lagos traffic. why others are just looking you know this lagos a lot of things happen but please try as much as possible to safeguard your property whenever you are any because nowhere is safe any longer nowhere is safe this guy now if they catch him now and they, they stand dismantling his face beating him almost to the point of death people someone will say oh sorry or he will say sorry is the first time and someone will say oh let us leave him let's take him to the police uh one of nigeria transgender said in fact it seems like there are trans hunters in town in lagos and the one of nigeria transgender daniel tony said he said i was apprehended molested and almost killed by some trans hunters according to him in Porta, sorry this 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 one happened in port Harcourt. he said it's been a very rough week and i saw and experienced very every imagination that came with the word tough last week i was apprehended I was molested, harassed, beaten, and was almost killed by a group of trans hunters. I was called names. My body parts saw hell from them, and even my account was wiped. All my sweat and energy in currency gone just like that. I have never experienced such before, so this is really an appealing fate and went through. I'm trying to recuperate in every sense and would also want to thank everyone who reached out. Thank you so much. I pray I get through this wholeheartedly because this car is all deep. Telling me killing is free in Nigeria. My phone is gone. My bank account is wiped. Well, if what she's saying or is saying is true, that trans hunters are in town, in Port Harcourt mostly, please i honestly do not condole it you are not the law you cannot take law on your hands you cannot be going after people who think what they are doing is right according to them come on man you 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 catch this this guy who is acting like a lady you beat her up i uh, beat him up sorry i keep using her beat him up molested him and yet wiped his whole account render him useless come on man come on man you are not the law allow him to enjoy his life if you have anything against him kindly just find a way to secretly film him with another guy having an entanglement then report it to the police that is the the highest that you can do you don't have that right to beat him up or to apprehend him and assault him, molest him. Come on, man. You are not the law. Allow him to live his life. Allow him to, despite, I know some people won't really feel attached, like feel sorry for him, but honestly, let's call it spade a spade. What they did was wrong. All those trans hunters, cross dressers hunters. Come on, man. Check out another one. This one is coming from Nollywood. Actor Uche he said that uh, 90% of Yoruba actress are dating Yao guys. 90% of Yoruba actresses are dating Yao boys. You the date person, if they give you dollars, if they drive flashy cars, where they walk, you don't know. I go come Instagram, come they show us flashy things, tell us say you don't arrive. Hello, it's any problem. Listen to me, to all the popular actress dating Yao boys, making a stop them. Be a role model to the youths. If you are dating somebody that is spending millions on you, know where he works. Show us where he work. Well, it's none of his business anyway. But uh, we already know what is happening. We see a lot of our actresses dating a lot of BB guys out there who cannot really hold on to this and say, okay, this is my occupation. But honestly, it's not really his business. You know, this guy said is uh, is that he has been abused, that uh, he's been called a gay, that he wants to leave Nigeria today and tomorrow he will say all sorts of things, you understand? But 
honestly it's not really anybody's like really not his business though and uh, meanwhile ricardo bank in fact it was responding to what season said she just said nigeria is stressful now nah, nigeria is stressful now the statement after what i faced today with the nigeria police two times in a row i gave up f up place the recount bank responded say we are not voting in anyone who has no plan on reforming the police for good i don't think any nigeria politician is willing or even ready to reform anything called police because they honestly use this police to their benefit so it's quite unfortunate eh? what the whole world as a whole is just upside down there's nothing right anymore the other thing that that will even give you some level of uh of uh, of peace also level of justice is when you have money you know you can buy your way through things but honestly it's just quite unfortunate so we are still facing a lot of police discrimination brutality and answers is not really really gone you understand what i mean but it's quite unfortunate that uh that is what we are passing through right now and meanwhile check how this self-claimed prophet is a prophet arrested for defying a 70 years old girl who came for prayers in his church and say good police have arrested a 50 years old self named prophet tire for allegedly raping a 17 years old church member during prayer section in the church in ok abala info area of the state the suspect who is charged is not charged to court and the victim further stated that after the illicit affair the prophet ordered her to take a spiritual bath in the church with an already spiritual spiritually prepared candle when he rubbed over her body the suspect had uh, the victim added that since then the victim has complained of having a spiritual attack which always made her to fall down and remain unconscious for hours so see, the prophet invited the teenager to the church for a prayer and when they were alone he forcefully had canal knowledge of her then after that he gave her this bath and this one candle to rub on her body so ever since the the victim has been having this nightmare and sometimes she will just faint and go unconscious for hours so on interrogation the suspect initially denied the allegation but when it was confronted by the victim it was very difficult for him to absorb himself of the allegations well you know we have had so many similar stories and the reason why i like talking about this all the time about these cases because i want to bring awareness i want people who have that mindset of doing similar thing whenever I, i'm not accusing anybody here do but sharing no you don't know is who they might just want to do that similar thing at least they can see faces and see the kind of humiliation they will go through and also guess as well if they see all those people outside maybe later released they can at least know know the person that tag him as a so 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 person as a rapist but honestly that's the honest the reason why i see myself talking about this thing all the time all these these similar cases so we need to be aware out there we need to be mindful of the kind of things we do and meanwhile i just pray you know in nigeria it's very very hard to see those people going to jail or saying that this person has been persecuted sent to jail for social, social things it's really really hard all we do is just read the news and we won't hear about that case again in this video guys i think i don't know if this is a good one i said lawmakers consider bill to permit muslim female military officer to be a job so the house of representative is currently deliberating on a bill seeking to compel the armed force and paramilitary organization to permit Muslim females officer to wear the Islamic veil, commonly known as hijab. Do you support that? That uh, no? Just kindly leave your comment below if you support fem female Muslim female officer to be wearing hijab. So thank you very much for watching. It's the boy again. Up link. Have a wonderful day and watch out my next video. Bye.